jumpers, how much that opened up things for everybody else and uh, kind of boosted you on an old Mino run there that women's team absolutely needed there. Like, yeah, for sure. I mean, I just knew Z wasn't getting his shots. They were kind of double teaming him pretty well and he was missing shots he normally makes and it felt good to kind of make some of those shots that I took. So, I mean, it just opens things up. And then once I start hitting those and they got to choose to stop me, then I can get it to Z or other shooters out there. Any kind of big picture significance to you guys winning this game the way you did without making like 10 threes like you normally do? Um, I mean, like a, it's I, yeah. kind of your model. Yeah, no, I think we just played really hard. Um, I mean, you got to figure out ways to win when shots aren't going in or foul trouble, whatever it is. I mean, I think that's what's so good about this group is that we always try to find a way to win. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but today it worked. On the other side, Wisconsin shoots 0 for 11 in the second half and three. Just how aggressive were you getting to those shooters and contesting shots? For sure. I mean, I think they missed a couple wide open ones, um, so they kind of bailed us out on that part. Um, but I think just us trying to stay locked in and not get separation for them, for their shooters to get those shots off. So, What do you think the takeaway is um, in terms of you know, how you guys feel you played? You know, were you at your best? Yeah, no, I felt tonight, um, I felt like Z was, had kind of an off night for him. Um, I felt like I could have been better. I mean, I had four turnovers, so I felt like I could have been better on that side of things. Um, and like we said, just make more shots. And if we play like we should, like every night, I mean, it would be pretty hard for people to stop us. Holding off Rutgers, coming back on Northwestern, holding them off, is that, is that maturity? Or are you seeing kind of a survival instinct come out of this team? For sure, I think it's a little bit of maturity. Um, I mean, adding Lance is huge. Um, and we all play together and play our brand of basketball. I mean, just like I said, like it's hard to beat us, so. With teams having to contest with Edie just every minute, do the baskets away from Edie when anyone else scores almost feel more impactful? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely like a double whammy for them if one of us other than Z is hitting shots because then they're like, well, we got to stop Z, but then now somebody else is hitting shots. So when that's the case, um, it's kind of hard for them to kind of pick and choose. Have you started paying attention to Big Ten standings yet coming into this game? No, no. I mean, <laughs> we're just taking a game at a time. I mean, obviously I knew if we'd win, we'd take the number one spot, but I mean, like, we still got games to go, and that's bigger than just one game. So, that's fine. I talked about Lance, and it seems like every time there's a moment where the other team's on a run or you need a big bucket, he's the guy that's going to hit the shot for you. Um, you know, love David Jenkins, but how has he maybe been different in the regard where he's a second ball handler, a defender, and then also gives you that offensive boost? Yeah, he's definitely got some nuts on him. Uh, I mean, he can. I mean, he just takes shots that. I mean crazy ones and it goes in and I'm glad to have them and it's definitely a huge plus to have him here just because I mean it, it helps so much because he can also distribute and make plays for himself but also make plays for others and when he's going and he's confident like that it just makes our whole team so much better. Final minute you know they're going into the press getting at you guys just what's the mindset what are you seeing from the court as a team? Yeah I mean I just try to get the ball um, that late turnover I shouldn't have had I should have just honestly went through a lot to see I don't know what I was doing um, but just trying to hold the ball and get free throws. I mean, that's just, it was a free throw game at that point, so. You feel like you're improving as a team against the press as the season goes on? For sure, I mean, I think we have the right pieces. I think we got good guards and we just gotta be smart. And when we're, when we're not, we turn the ball over. I feel like it's just more focus and stuff like that, so. This game maybe one of the more indicative ones that we are not a one-man team, two-man team, three-man team. I think there was a point where Lance is playing point. It's Cam, Caleb, uh, Trey, and like Mason, I can't remember who else was out there. It was a unique lineup, and yeah. you guys pull away from them. You all scored in that stretch. So. Yeah, no, everybody can play. That's what's so nice about this team. We're so deep. Um, everybody can play a role here, and everybody can start. So, I mean, it's just so nice having that. Um, not only the starting five, but the backup five or whoever, six, seven, however you want to see that. So, I mean, everybody can play. Did you take note of how good they were defensively in the first half when the bench came in? Um, for sure. I mean, I knew Wisconsin was a really good defensive team just to start off. They're physical. Um, they got a lot of experience. So kind of just figuring out ways to get around that and not fall for stuff and try to push off and stuff like that. Um, I felt like we did a pretty good job in the first half. Your bench. I mean, you had Caleb in with Trey. I think Cam was in. That was a really good defensive bench. Oh, you're talking about us? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> My fault. Um, no, you're good. Uh, I mean, like, just like I said, everybody can play, and everybody has a role, and those guys coming in and getting those defensive stops for us was huge. As a perimeter defender, how much does what Zach Eady does inside 
just affect and help you? It seemed like he turned away quite a few Wisconsin drives, yep. even at the free throw line. Yeah, it's definitely uh, really nice uh, and to have him there, just because if you were to get beat or were to get beat off the closeout or whatever it is, I mean, he's there and he'll block it. So being able to have him there um, is definitely a huge advantage for us.